Uh, welcome back um, uh, from the lunch break. Council, if we're ready to continue, please proceed. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. The witness is being brought in. Thank you very much. Welcome back, Mr. Witness. Uh, Thank you. Uh, before you, the lunch break, you are telling us about uh, the procedures you underwent at the uh, Barra Police Station yeah. in order to be given custody of the 50 uh, West Africans. And uh, you told the commission that you had to sign the register. And commission uh, what if what would you say to the suggestion that there were no entries for 22nd July uh, 2005 in the police diary men sotantan police wala diary kono ko wala men keta july karo kono mo fula 2005 sawon kono ni o moy be mo nafala i'll be i'll be so would that statement be true or would it be false? It will be false. It will be false. Why? 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 West African migrants of about that number entering the territory of this country. What would you say to that? Yeah, mona sa da be mem fola ni ya moy man sa kunda mem be nun jang ye kuma ko mem bondi ko eh tol man ku sa ferin soto me ya lon ko be sujiri ni nyi Africa tundo lay motal lol ni me ya lon ko be da kan nun tamala dam ila kuoto imam al ma soto bla da be sa ferin dam to ila bugol kon e mona sa da be mem fola woto uh, that is far-fetched because uh, I'm a living witness. And I dealt with this matter. Without an iota of doubt. Uh, among the 50 that uh, you receive, can you give us the gender distribution? For uh, example, no one but Mosi Fallem Bong Kellem from Musoro. Forty-eight were men. More than nine Mosi were Mukelle. There were two females. Ah, Musu Fula Bije. One was from Liberia. Musu Kilimani, who bought a Liberia. One was from Nigeria. Do yes, bought a Nigeria. Sierra Leone. Do bought a Sierra Leone. And the beauty is. I mean, from what I know about it. The, the, the Liberian woman, the, the Liberian lady, uh, Liberian Musoni, looks like somebody who was so close to me. When I was running a business and she was working for me. So when I saw her, I felt some connection. I said to my mind, this looks like my former staff. And uh, tell us how you took them to wherever you took them that day. Silang afonya bang ye samba mindo la ye samba dingira o dingira ro afonya ba ye samba nyadi la. So once I inform my boss that these were illegal migrants. Abudunga kibaro futani na boss mago konyul mumole te mi alangko e left a time la la bari ma kani silola. And the the fact of the matter is they didn't even have any dole in their possession. And no mum fanga kada kuote wala nyindi kani bendang kunto fanga mantala noi bulu. Let alone arms and ammunition. Kufa kafu kufanga jorango lebi bulu mi alangko kela dan jorango malam. So I took them from the police station. Ngeboni nam police station auto. 
escorted with uh, the help of uh, the, the armed navy 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 officers ah ani nga mako ro shoto nyim ba ko na soja ro bul milia mako to the navy boat okay samba ba ko na soja ro la kulunga to then i transported them to the navy headquarters in banyi sa na ta ne ta nge samba ke na din nang ba ko na soja ro la dinkra ba min be banyul at the navy headquarters what of na dinkra nyin to how did how were they organized when yeah. you were transporting them biri be samba la yela ko la ndi nyaadi le i sandwich if you like ah ma don ni left hand side for the wrong you know the board was not uh, the board was not very big kulunga nyuma wara so they sat and 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 and, and you know sita they they sandwich each other you know i will start one this one here you know come ye ye nyo bula tema len tebe sila jan do sita do sit one in between the legs of the other exactly ala munda ye dol sindi ye dol sindi dol singol koro exactly ah wala fam and they were handcuffed no ye bulol ci ene le fana no i didn't see any need for a handcuff no i call je nya man jare no wala you took 10 with you bari ya fo jane ko ida tan ni officer do ni tang tada tan ko fol yeah because like <coughs> the impression i was given and uh, early on what i said na to go mi otina ye kuma ko wal min fol na la nu ye ko mi yanki bare min na ani nga mom fol ngam folo ke the impression was these are mercenaries ye min fol ye mi tan ni mo la wala ni mom mo le dem yalan ko kere jawaro le mo te ye jore ko ye right on the ground sa en ka bim futata wo din kra ni ndo the people i saw nga mo wal min je nyaala and have to deal with ndo nyant ni wal la nyanta ka kuke we are definitely without a doubt illegal migrants wal hani ni e je balon nako han hakil flow man taro to ko nyon mo le dem yay be tama si lolo kam bari man taka ke kan en si lolo i didn't find found the need to put them on handcuffs so man na foko ko man jare pour nyol ye 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 blo city can you describe the scene when you arrived at uh, banjul the uh, marine unit biri ni mol furana na banjul eh, sojare ba kono sojaro la dingira nyinto je kol ning alhalo be nu nyame ba fi sa fono nya bang ye yeah, once the ship anchor kabrun kul ngota da fase mbeda we help each of them to come out ni ma ko kelin kelin pour ye fin dina when they came out pour ye fin dina na on this side ning kala dola um if you know the navy um we kind of turn a little bit to the right for me ni tara ye wo dinkira nyen lo so jaro la wo dinkira nyen ka bin na tam kofta nem blubal there was a ground like this i believe that's where they used to do their drills or something like that i mean dula be je mi alon ko komi ke la lol ke wolto so i saw them from on, on the east indi tili ji ma fa I saw them on the east of the of the of the of the of the, of the at the navy headquarters. Nge nge lon di tili ji ma fa on, tili bo ma fa on. And I then fi I found there the inspector the former inspector general of police. Wato fa na what I what to police all la kunto ko ni nunto wo bi jelen. Oto dum Usman Sonko. Ka fa Usman Sonko. I believe the one who is in um Switzerland. Am da wole be Switzerland banko ka. and i found the cd the cds no la so jaro la ko don ko fana tara what is his name o todum can remember the name i think the surname was sar na mala ko don o sar le did asan sar san sar ah wala asan sar yes i found asan sar asan sar tara je i believe um either i found some sta- state guard officers three or four state state guard officers mo fulla fu mo saba mo mo nani mi yalan ko yetul boto man sala ko da balto o our coming and their coming must have coincided coming do la nani to la na bentale benta ñu la ji boy didn't take long to see the state guard wala mom me do long ngañe mol je mi yalan ko so jaro le boto na man sala ko da to because one of them i happen to know very well bombard a to kelimbi je mi yalan ko ngalon bakala fo e ka fay bombard can you describe him Bombardé à uh, Tama Serigne ba mo ci sifalem. <coughs> Bombardé before this day. Bombardé jane ñun lu ñi. C'est fair colored guy. Koy tale. With a little bit built up. Da ay 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 balo soto demandé. Sot I would call him sot. Ah uh, sotiata mba fala sotiata. But this this day when he when I saw him. Bar ñun lu ñi ka bi ngañi. He appeared like a kankura. Ka munta ko kankura. Ref ref. Bu le rewal rene bala. because he attempted to walk on the because these people were sitting with legs like this ato ñul be siri nenu ye singol tilin ten and he attempted to walk on them apareta pour que dori kan ka tam and i said to him no this, you cannot do this I mean, but, you, the service chiefs are here ka ko hane to kala no katuko tanko bunda nya tonkol bi jant 
Did he, did he attempt to beat any of them? For a uh, laughter no I ngani yaso dalama buruka moli pe kono ba. No at this stage no he attempted to walk, to he attempted to walk on them. I probably he probably have walked on one or two. A uh, preta no buruka dori kan katame gang bari a ke clean na fofula. And I stopped him. Kaabula. That these people are tired and they are hungry. Ka ko nyum moli bada ta de konko fo na bela. We have received evidence that it was not only Bombardier who attended to walk, who attempted to walk on the feet of these people, but there was also another person who was busy slapping and beating some of these people. Eh, na kibara roso raja me muse dani rodi ko amanke bombarde drone moti me yalongo atel tarta nung katama nyu mol udol kang warantu isimul kang bar dua falan soro tei konal me yalongo atarta nung abe abulu be mutare nung abe dol tulol bunna abe tulu busala ikungol do. I'm on, on, I'm on national television. The television, Gambia television. I've, I've taken oath. I take my work very seriously. If there were, there were three or four that do, do, did it, Not a more full of us, I would say, to the best of my recollection, because I was in charge throughout. Apart from Bombardier, who did you see from state guards? Ning abora Bombardier la yejuma la kurenge me yalo ngabo ram nye manzala korda baro. Yeah, because at this stage me I have problem with going to state house with 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 with, with soldiers. Yeah, I'm just scared of soldiers. Ning watu kona nung mboga lafin prune ning soldier oli ata manzala korda baro katu mahani nung soldier ola. And the reason is. Nung dalilo me yo sabu. You know, you see small boys and girls with so much authority. Yeah, they didn't even make them all kill them. Muso sembo bela fo. So anywhere they are generally. Yeah, yeah, they never want to let or want to want to drop. I want to go to the opposite side. The left side, the Karadoni side. Unless and until there is absolutely. Oh, you want to show me a long cut? Buy a new flag. On this particular occasion, did you see any other soldiers? Ni lungo ni na fa inar na soldier do kotenje jela bang. From State House, apart Member, from Bombardier. Member and Mansala Kordabara, Ning Abora, Bombardier. Yeah, by, the, by, by, by their outlook, maybe when you name it. The four of them, or five or six, I cannot remember, you but they must have been together. You more than all for more Lulu Waro, you'll be able to know. Because they were standing on the far end. But they were looking at what kind of the jana. Around the ferry end. Ferry all of my father. And the service chiefs were on the on the on the navy side. So I buy the communal like on the port side. On court and call the nyato call well below the. And facing the east. The nyato in the board. Okay, and uh, what happened next? We are not in a key court again. So there, I believe I can't Uto? say for certain. Oto nata na la konta fola no ko lata la. Service chiefs ask some questions. Ning mo ning tangko bunda nyato call ye ni ning karol ke. And the head of the team must have answered. What question was asked? Do you recall? As to why they were in the Gambia. And what answer were they given? And that they were brought by a boat. Commanded by a, 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 their, their agent in Dakar. Mi anya tonka ya no wale ila agento mimi Dakar. And they were abandoned on the coast, uh, on the bar, at the Bara coast. Na tena tuje Bara la ba kodoje. And that they were in touch with a Gambian. Sa ini Gambian dole banyo mo kano. Uh, who was supposed to pick them there? Mi anya tena la ke sikaji. And put them in the next boat. Ibula kulundo kono. And he is no, he, they can't reach him anymore. So they got stranded. Where they were picked up by the police. And to who did they say this? To the two service chiefs, all of us who were there as authorities. To the two service chiefs, all of us who were there as authorities. So from that, can we conclude that? There was no reason whatsoever for our service chiefs to believe that these people were mercenaries. What was I in Zafo? No, Ko, Dalila, O Dalila Teje, member Sabula Ko, Nao Tanko Bunda, Nyaton Ko, Menu Alonga, Mabi Ringe, member Sabula Ko, Yelani Nako, Nimulu, Mole Me Alonko, Jole Kanabu, Kana Fitino, and the Banco Kanja Kafu, mercenaries. Not the slightest doubt. Ni hakil kilimanda hakil fulakilimanda lao. 
So it is your testimony therefore. Munta nyina mwila seda andirotiko. That Usman Sonko. Oh Usman Sonko. And uh, the other service chief that was present. Aning tanko bunda nyatonga kota ngombe alonko wolbe maberinje. Who was who was that? Jumala Mutinu. Sansar. 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 We are fully aware that uh, these people were migrants. And we yeni kala mudala ko nyimu mwole me alonko tamala lemu. My belief is they know very well. They, they, they didn't have a doubt. At this point. And what happened after that? So they were released and they were released. And they were released. And what happened after that? Um, there, was a, I, there was a boss arranged. I found a boss there. I believe it was this GPTC boss. GTS boss. GTS boss. Yes. GTS uh, has any existed for a long time. Time, okay. All right, GTSC. GTSC, boss all them. But there was a boss. But the boss was being here. And uh, they, we, we, I, we put them in the boss. Yeah, blow the boss all them. And I believe I must have driven my car because my car was there. Mm hmm. Kaji kita konto fon fazu moto yine boni. I followed. I followed them. Bloody normal. To Baba Jobs compound somewhere around just after after the this Palmarima Johnson in Senegambia. Baba Job la koda to come ni boda ni Palmarima Johnson. The first turn maroons. Ni tada maroons bedami. I'm not sure. Maybe four, five, fifth, fourth or fifth compound on the left. Amman la bage balasi ke koda kilim fula sabana ni for lulu njangoti koda ni. It's a story building. Omo bunjangoti. Was that the first point of? Uh, skull that was the, was the place you first stopped eh fo jelem dinkira follow the allo ta damen do ba now from banyu that 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 would that, that would be my belief ani ngam la ko kawin bata banyu be la la wala dal ko wala did you pass by kairaba station oh alna ta ma katani kairaba police station oto la ba o kotu police station waran don kotu police station oto ba that's what i'm saying go le foka um because my, 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 my impression there, my belief was that when we dropped them all, the 50 at the Baba Jobs compound, that was when the separation came. But on a second thought, because I didn't remember going to go to Kairaba or something like that. So probably the boss must have passed and dropped them in these bits. Well, I knew that somewhere I dropped at Kotu Police. I had about police and uh, PIU at Kani. That, that, uh, that I knew. Bo, 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 the distribution, whether they were distributed on their way to Baba Jobs compound? Well, but coming to Africa, if you have talent, talent, can you get the motor to come for the name of the Baba Jobs or they were distributed when from when they were all dropped at Baba Jobs compound? Well, coming to Africa, you have talent, what you need for the Baba Jobs or not? Well, I know for certain when I left Banjul, I didn't go anywhere off to Baba Jobs compound. I didn't go anywhere off to Baba Jobs compound. I didn't go anywhere off to Baba Jobs compound. I didn't go anywhere off to Baba did you, in the bus, did they have any escorts? Yes, they had escorts. Uh, uh, they were not normal. I believe those state guards. And uh, some Navy officers. I can, I can, I'm, I'm speculating and that. And soldier role for because at Baba Job's compound, at Baba Job I didn't see the Navy's there. Navy man, there. Man soldier role I there. only saw the state guards there. Na, na, which state guards did you see there? Mansala Korda, but Kantala, Jumali, Menjeje. Bombarded and this group. Bombarded and Alamol. And who are they? Tolem Jumalti. Do you recall their names? Yakilo, see, told Mutanolevan. To be honest, I couldn't. Telemokan, I tried, you know. Um, I wish I, 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 I had the opportunity to speak to one or two people. Uh, left at Nonfang, coming not dealing more killing while I fly. Do you know a person called Tumbul Tamba? Yeah, more to all under my Bafala me, Tumbul Tamba. Very well. Ah, was he there? I've been in Yelaba without a doubt, no. 
I know Tumbul. He used to Tumbul used to visit me when I was in Cape Point. I know him very. Not Tumbul on the Kenega. You know he are in Cape Point. No, no, at, at this point, no. He knew what to ask. How about Musa Jami? Musa Jami, no. You did not see that. No, no, Maja. So after you left them at Baba Job's house, what happened? Bring ye to Baba Job la kordani ngono ye. Muna nara na ke. Yeah, prior to leaving them there, I know when we, when we, when we, when we, when we were in the house, um, the, 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 these state guard officers, one in a, in a room, I killed him and we are interrogating him kind of, and again I went there, I stopped them, I'm going to go to the house, I'm going to go to the house, I'm going to go to the house, I said, please, but for me, I mean, on the whole, I was uh, signing my dead warrant. Because for me, I am in charge. And I'm taking responsibility of what is happening. So that's what I'm used to. My officers, they, they, they report to me. They tell me what they're doing. Anything that goes wrong, I'm in charge. So in this day, I was assuming the same responsibility. Thank God, I have, I mean, I'm respected both the police, the army, the immigration. I, I command some, some little bit of respect. I to police, immigration, when I say stop, they stopped. They went out. So I believe we dist I distributed those that were there in the rooms. And then I was ready to go home. So I I'm not sure whether I called my boss when I was going home. Well, I know that um, um, I called Malamin Sisi. And he was officer commanding, I think, serious crime or, or something. And I gave him a rundown of what has happened. Could, could you briefly let us know what you said to him? I told him that uh, we have intercepted some illegal, illegal migrants. And the service chiefs has instructed for investigations. And one of the suspects is um, this Tunkara, you guy you call, you talk, you said in Birkama. And I told him Tunkara was connected to my a previous case that was I, that I was investigating. So we agreed. Santa, Nyoma. He will rally his men, I rally my men, we converge. I care about police station. I am more pretending for I am more pretending that I have been care about police station. When was that to be? The following day. Because I believe this was around 12 midnight, 1 o'clock, thereabout. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure the timings. Proceed, please. So we agreed. So I went home. Slept. The following day, I believe around 9 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. I got set, ready to go to work. I first stopped by Baba Job's house. But just to mention also that the PI, there were PIU officers who were assigned to, 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 to secure the house. So when I came in the morning, I found the paras there. I entered the house. I entered the house, there was nobody. So um, um, I didn't say a word. And then I had terrible feeling. Did you ask? I, I, I didn't even ask. All my, all what my ego, uh, my, 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 um, uh, my gave me was to go and look for them in the other places that were, they were the. How can you mean that none of the other people in the world are going to be able to do it? 
We'll be to able to have a good picture of uh, what, 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 has, what, what, what my feelings um, uh, were at the time. I said, I'm so long ago, I'm going to be a miracle for what you're talking about. Proceed. So, from Baba Job's compound, I went to go to police. I went to Baba Job's compound, I went to go to police. I believe I asked for the detainees that we have brought up there overnight. Later, go more me along with him. Muta ji engi la kuni ninka. They they were not there. Mantara ji. I went to Kairaba police station. Later, Kairaba police station auto. They were not there. Mantara ji. They have suddenly disappeared into thin air. Munta ji, ye manta fonyo kono wanya mero. Or in the clutches of somebody else. Waranto ido ye manta mola mola kongoro. Whatever it is, they have gone. At this point, nowhere to be seen. So I proceeded to the PIU. At the PIU, I believe, I found maybe five or six of them. I believe the, the guy I talked to the first time, the head of the group, and again, it is my belief that the two, the two women were also there. And probably one or two or three other, 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 other people. So I found them there. I spoke to the security who were there. You know, how are you? Fine, thank you. How is work? Fine, thank you. So I decided uh, to excuse myself from this investigation. Why? Um, my feeling was, but again, uh, let me, let, let, uh, uh, probably what I told my boss would, 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 would answer your question. So once I have taken this decision in, 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 in my mind, I came out of the PIU, entered my car, drove to Banyu. On my way, I called my boss. Again, you can, you can, you can check. I told him, like I have explained from Baba Jobs Compound, what has happened up to no. the PIU. And I told him that a terrible thing must have happened. I would doubt if these people will surface anywhere again in their lives. And as such, okay. I don't want to deal with this matter. And I suggested to him, um, in order to calm the menace of uh, illegal migration, particularly people who were making money out of it, was to go and escalate the other file that the, the other 35 days that we intercepted earlier and I intercepted earlier agree. I proceeded to Banyu, to my office, and I believe I called my two IC, Bamba, he was already there. So we looked at that file, and then we started calling this Tunka. That he better cross the, uh, cross the borders of the Gambia out of this country, otherwise we will get him anywhere he is. So I believe that, that, that was I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not so. Maybe on a Saturday? Yes, because I think that was a weekend. Because the, the, the traffic was so clear. And in the, and in the office, I was alone with Bamba. So I believe and it was any weekend. So we walk on the weekend. file that day and the following day. And I believe on Monday, later, we went to, for consultation at the DPP's office. Data, me along with all my security in the room, we are like a file DPP in that other office auto. As to the situation on that case file. Purunga for call be along call be lari nyami wo case file or karola. And that one of the one of the culprits or one of the 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 the, the alleged perpetrators of the 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 act were already was already arrested. Me mol me along with all the wo call nyinge ye mut telemote konole fokapare. 
and he asked us to, we told him he was on bail. He asked us to ask him to come the following day. I can't remember the whole thing, but uh, the guy ended up coming. And we escorted him to the court. And he was put before the court. And I believe he was convicted. Because at one point he was serving in mile two. I went, went to visit colleagues who were in jail there. And as for I was passing, passing, I ran into him. He started naming all the NIA officers who were jailed there. And, and that all the people who dealt with his case, I'm the only one who is left outside. So he's waiting for my, my coming. Still, I believe to this day because I told him I had, had yours. I'm waiting for that of God. So, in essence, he was convicted. To the, to the best of my knowledge, um, he was serving. He served sentence, or he was serving sentence. And uh, did you at any point in time hear anything about this case again? Uh, for what in the surrender of Okuni, Baker, and Kora, and now come on in case of Kuru Kotangaba? Yes, on a number of, on a number of uh, occasions, yes. Ah, Sina Jama found it. Likely on the social media. Coming for Ninata Banta coming in social media. But in, how about in national news? Did you hear anything about this particular case? Nabanko can Kibar Bundal to Lung for Inanaka Kibaro Munkurabang. Of course, yes. Ah, what did you hear? Yamuna Munin case of water. I can't remember the wordings rightly. Ndakulota Mutala coming Kuma call me for Fota. But UN or AU or ECOWAS have come to the Gambia. Jigetago UN AU ECOWAS in Atta Gambia Banco Canyon. On fact finding missions, I believe a host of them have two places. Kana kisi kisi roga kalo meneketa. Two, three or four times. Amra sinya sabafo sinya nani nyong. That it ended up Ghana government having interest negotiating until because at the at the at the time of paying those paying. Or compensating whatever. That was the time I was studying development diplomacy in peace and security at the Kofi Annan Institute. And that was a very inconvenient period for me. Even if I'm in a taxi, I, I dare not say I'm a Gambian. I feel in, the, in my body, yeah, man, the, the attention was extraordinary. So to your point, yes, I heard about it. You, all, what you haven't told us what you heard. That um, there were 44 Ghanians. Ghanians who were allegedly killed by... The government of the Gambia or agents of the government of the Gambia? Ko, ye tu milo ke ko. Gambia mansa kunda la welfa, wala miliyala ko ibu duko la Gambia mansa kunda kuto welfa. Did that rumor you had accord with the truth as far as you know? Eh, wongu nungu no nyi yeme mwe. Fo, wo, wani ntu wanyaye nyo mala bangu ete alo nyame mba. At all. And that's why when the TRRC came up. Ala dena, kabili ni TRRC loda. I knocked at your doors three times before this day. Long time. Yeah, yeah. From, from the early days. Ngala bunda kongkong na sinya sabafanja ninyo lungo. Atala triasi dudududadi kuto. Because a lot of stories has been told. Tatu kuma ganja malebe foka. And me who leave the story. Anunte miyala nkonte fongole nyongkuo nyato nkoti. I thought I can chip in and help the clarification so that um, the investigation can be widened from there. Njigita ko oko minina tanandabu la kisi kisuro kono ubate na kisi kisuro nye genafano. Did you hear what the government response was at the initial stages when questions were being asked about 44 Ghanaians? Uh, 
itole muna sura yemen jabi nyinkuro biri nyinkaro da muta rakuwa nyinto the specifics i may not ah kumi nkafo ngalo nyami wani the general in general marabe mume the kind of uh, refuted the allegations balanta wo e balanta wo tu miro la ne ya so so le and how did you feel when you had those denials it e baloko no yi muni kalamuta e baloko no birite wo moyi maza kunda balanta wala ko nyinda muta do lado um knowing and living the facts kumi ngako la nyami nga ni to nyanyi I I I I I didn't have a doubt that that's not true. Their story is not true. Me ma hakili fula soto kumi yao kuma kwa mimi fahani tonya to kono. But also when this international organization comes, bari ya long kumi nyimbanda la banku bunda do kwa kabri ya dakeje ina. There are panels that are formed. Yelo yelo ndiro kile kavu mi ya panel alpha. I believe one or two times my name have come up. I refuse to be part of it. Tunga mla sinya klimvo sinya fula yento fujele bari mbalanta prokan dakeje. Because my conscience didn't allow. Atu hakilo phone chondo mole mansongwa la. To the best of my knowledge, the last one I told my boss, you know, this is true. I cannot go there and pretend. Kona boshi yako, tonya tonya. Nti tano nyundi kila dongam fanke koma mfello nyimkuoto. Your government, my government, our government lied to the international community about what happened. Kila manza kunda, na manza kunda, na manza kunda. Ntolbela manza kunda. Ntolbela manza kunda. Aefani yafo nyimkuoto, nyimkuoto mea longo. Aefani yafo jamani kuto nyari mo demenja bije. Absolutely. Tonya keso le wote. How did you feel when you heard the lies? Yeah, akete fe nyadi le birite wo fani ya nyimoy. I felt bad, but prior to the lies. Ko akete nya ni to la kwoto, bar jani fani ya nyim fon be fola. Because um life is very precious. Atu balwo mu fenam timi ala nka kuma ya tabakele. And the circumstances in which it happened is so deplorable. And la ko na da la nya ma akete nya le mi ala nka ka kwoto ko le tabakele. There was just no reason. No reason. Hani dalili mantaraji. Hani sabab. From that day, I feel bad. Kabru wo lungo man content feeling. Yeah. Ha. Do you know how the lies were concocted? How they were organized? Yala no fani aning. Ya be kafundi nyoma nyoma nyaya nyoya nyadi le. Foya ta ya tabi ya ke ya londi ka ke kumakangoti. Um, unfortunately, um, generally. Min dorong kul ketanya min dorong abe mume. Because probably most of my 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 postings also, especially after this event or shortly before this event. Yeah, the Kabri Bell sound. Leave 2005. Kan samba doku kan kan samba doku ola dula dolto. Sekatma na o sound drum in kata 2005 sango kono. After this event, I believe most of the time I stayed outside. So what happened around government cycles? I didn't know the details. Pemain kabinet yang kau be kita fokus pada mantaran mantaran umma sakunda abalan so kau buka hal full non membekerin. Kau Gambia bin what it is very small. Kau main Gambia kita minta dan dorong abang kundin nam. So whatever happen in one corner. Fendi nak kita dulu adu tu dorong. Directly or indirectly you got to know. Iba asyiknya mui wolf mala kita mula wala iba mui la modal lah. And yes, I I I I I had the the this narrative that we are associated with what has happened ah so waka nga kuma kwa wala mwale mili ya lanko wale kata nyin kuoto the denials wale wale so role nyin mili kata but do you know where the government took any particular steps to concretize their narrative bari yala nifo masa kunda ya simfa da tale bang puru ilaw kuma kwa wanyi yew mienfo puru ka utaka bambandi Again, yes. Ha? Kodeng, ha? What? I may not remember the specific, like I said. Komenta haki utabula nola ikuma futanya mifonde. But, 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 there is, there was, like I said, I believe you and, but, you know, I'm not at the, at the headquarters, but I knew you and, you and mission came, you, you and, Fact finding mission came. Come in later, Larek, because minkata you and, ila mall mi alanko wale nata kese kese roo, wale nata nyin banko kana nyin ya. I'm not so ECOWAS and AU mission also, fact-finding mission also came. Malum for now for ECOWAS and AU. Well, for now, I'm more me and I'm going to get to know how to get to know. And the position of the government was, this is not true. And I'm going to get to know how 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 to get to know. Yes, I was aware it was general. 
terminologies of the denials. Ah, mol mole, abe mo me ngol mole, komi ye sosoro min kani ye balong balong min tande. Do you know where that government took any particular steps to cover up? Yalo ne fomo zakunda isimfa data le bang puru kai kaku njinta kamabo. What would I say? The truth. Nothing but the truth. But that's what I'm saying. I don't know what steps government took. All I know is what you hear on the on the on the media. Malum masakunda ya munsimfa dalata eka kuma kawal min ruma do la wala eka min fo nyim banta ba kibaro do te I read the news more than 20 30 times a day nka news nka la mele min ka tam sinyata sa I crawl every corner just to look for information nga ta nka nyaabe o nyaale ke pour ko don ron ka kibaro well that's your bread and butter that's what you do do for a living kabalu wala mo kam do la ila mburo ni la bota but did you hear any rumblings among your colleagues as to what government was doing or planning to do. Monyo lukono foye nana kakuma kamu yi bulle ba mko masa kunda ya mumfere le landi ya kuonyi ndo kakuonyi nda kamabo. I am on old to this day. Mbeka lo lukono stem. Kifobi nyo lungo. Nothing other than those that I have um I have read on the news. Na abota kuwa la miya lanko ngole karan kibar kaito lto. And the fact of the matter is. Andu nkuwa fongot be momenti. I just refuse, I think, until after the change of government. That's when I started talking about it. Of course, I have spoken to one or two friends. And I told them about this incident. So, um, no, the specifics definitely. I, I didn't know what steps government took to cover. As far as you were concerned, you brought from Bara up to 50 West African migrants to Banjul and distributed them to various hosting places, including Baba Job's house, on 22nd and 23rd July 2005. Kwa hivyo la Londo to MND la, itata bara yeye ning Afrika tundo la ning banku dingo molta mumi da fomo talulu yeye bundi na bara yeye nati banjulu yeye bundi na nje yeye yeye bundi na nje kile samano kumbo kona jaya yeye jindi police station ulo kana fomo baba juu la kordaro. Without a doubt, I did. Fomo hakili fula chato fang. And and you signed a register. And you go your register le sign jani beni multa la ke findi. Indicating that you have taken charge of these fifty people and brought them to bind you. Kai tendi ko ye marota le ye dunota le sign ye ni multa ko kai tendi ko ye ni dunota le ko ye ni mul findi le ye tai bila marola kono ibi na di kambanju kono. Um, without a doubt, I I did sign something. Ah, ko ko bi ngani hakil fula mantera wato de ngani ngani fenta le ngani sign. And probably I can go back a little bit. Uh, we'll come for some more no coma demanding. And say that. Uh, Foko. What I signed. I mean signed. To the best of my recollection. I mean, there was an entry before it. That says 51 people. And I believe the entry. I was taking these people out. The officer who was uh, writing this must have taken it from there. And when I counted, it was 50. In, in fact, I have to do it second, for a second time. So I came back, I said, no, I'm taking, oh, I'm taking charge of 50 people. And he changed the, the one to zero. I woke a zero. Counter sign. So I sign okay, oh, Santo. Before I sign. Uh, you are under oath, Mr. Witness. Any statement by the Gambia government indicating lack of knowledge of some 50 foreign nationals entering the country on that date would be a lie. Ko imalon di soto mo la mialong ko ning Afrika tundo la mo talulo ning nakuro kule mialong ko fanial abe kala fanial. 
I don't know how to answer this question. Would it be a lie if government said they have no knowledge of this fact? Because this is completely different from the truth that I have lived. So, so that would be made of reality on the part of the government. That's not true. In essence, you're saying the government lied. Let's now move on to the other issues. Uh, tell us briefly what happened 30 December 2014. Very, very briefly, and then we go on to the tortures that happened as a result. Very, very briefly, huh? Eh? left December I believe 31st I was going to walk. And somewhere around sitting corner, you can see the traffic was kind of uh, blocked a little bit. Okay, to call it so, I got to Banyu. And, uh, I realized that there was um, an attempt on the state house. What kind of attempt? I was told um, some, uh, some, some armed men wanted to overtake the government. So um, I went to my boss, boss director of investigation, to have a comprehensive uh, briefing on the situation. And then he briefed me. From there, we went to the director general. Deputy director general was Liz Gomez. The director general was Yankubabaji. So, me and the deputy director general went to the director general. We, we, re we reviewed this situation. So I asked for permission to go back to, to my men and prepare them and tell them what I have received from the boss. So I briefed them, I told all of them to stay put. As I was foreseeing there will be um, on that, uh, taskings that would come. So once I did that, I went back to the I, in, in the briefing there with my men. I was told, I told them that there is a lone survivor. There is a survivor. Most of the who was uh, I think fractured or had a broken hand is at the hospital. So I told them, you know, briefings, if, you know, you talk. And I, I made reference to the Boston attack in America. Let, let's, let's abridge it. Okay. So tell us about the next steps you took. So the next steps I took was to go to the DG and for ask for permission to go and visit the sick person at the hospital. So I am going to go and talk to Kunton Koya. I am going to pray and for Kenyan Sita. I believe I made the request around 12 midday, 11 o'clock, 12 midday. I am going to wait for my boy Dan Rokra. I am going to talent and clean, 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 clean. The approval didn't come until around 2000 hours in the evening. And the word is man of hard work, full, full, full talent. Why is that? When I was up. So why was that? I believe I sought, I sought, uh, I sought uh, uh, um, uh, permission from the DG. Later, I come and Daniel Okele, we are going to produce this embula. 
you have to seek permission from general baji lu nuwo keta dorom ata fana nyanta diamula general baji le pour way song so i have done mine but he was not forthcoming well in the end tank le barate ta monke amake so at 2100 hours when it came so and talan say ma fo kabring ya maro ni nata I took Malamin Sisi, one of my staff. Malamin Sisi, we were doing call and telecoto. And my driver. And my driver. We drove to the RVTH at the accident, at the accident and emergency ward. Then after that, I left and auto. I came for the accident and emergency ward. You sat there. And at the accident and emergency ward. We were put at the accident and emergency ward auto. When I entered from the east. I believe I turned to the left. I believe I turned to the left. Can you reduce the detail? Okay. Otherwise, we won't finish. All right. At the accident and emergency. Say what? Oh, accident and emergency. Think about it. I met the the soldiers who the the officer commanding the soldiers. Ah, so so you're all telling me I'm going to go there and get on code. At the at the at the at the hospital there who were guarding uh, the survivors. I'm not telling you me I'm going to go there and more guard the more guard the me I'm going to go there and get on the phone. Whom I came to know as uh, Modunjai. So uh, when I arrived, I asked the guard, "Did have this guy eating?" They said he didn't eat, he didn't drink. And I said to the guard, "No, this guy must survive." So I organized for him to get some food. Yes, I did. And you made an assessment of the situation. Yes, I did. And you ah. decided that he was better off being elsewhere than at the hospital. Yes, I took him out of the hospital. And where did you take him? I took him to my our headquarters, NIA headquarters. And what happened there? Yeah, I believe that they, um, because he had pain at the time. Yeah, we interacted a little bit. And took him to a resting place. That was convenient for his condition. Ultimately, he was interviewed. Yes. And uh, other people were also arrested and brought to the NIA. Yes. Who were they? Yes. Who were they? 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 Uh, on the first of January, no thirty second. On the first of January, return somebody to the woman. So that I believe Buba, uh, Lieutenant Buba Sane was brought. Did you get January caro telephone? Yeah, Lieutenant Buba Sane Nati. And then, sorry. And then, what happened? Yeah, when Buba Sane was brought, we have Buba Sane Nati. Uh, Buba Sane's explanation. Buba Sane mean Dante. Because normally um, I, I direct investigations. I don't. I, I, I stay the, uh, with the intelligence aspect of it. The fourth and backward was mm -hmm. investigation of crime. I don't deal with it. Mm -hmm. So the men dealt with the, with Buba. They reported to me. Ah, Buba knows about this. Uh, a plot to overthrow the government. Buba ya nyimfero lo na min siri tapuru kanyi masakunda. Well, he told the CDS. But I am kaya for CDS. Told the chief of military intelligence. Yeah, for more than a million. General Baji was aware. General Baji akalamu. The state guard commander was aware. Masala kuda ba nyatong kukanda. The CEO, the CEO Fajara Barracks was aware. CEO ni Fajara Barracks akalamu. The intelligence chief in Fajara Barracks was aware. Intelligence officer ni Fajara Barracks. So when I got this information, inkebulenga ni inkebalo soto. They were aware, or he told them. Ya akalamu dala bamfu aya foen. Atela foen, atela foen. And when I was told this, kabri ya nyumfany. And the instruction was to put him in cells. Ano ya kwa ya yamaro mendi na wale nkabula kaso kono. And I said no. I will not put Buba in cells. Why? Because um, as far as investigation is concerned, I'm supposed to determine 
who goes to the cells or not. Is that so? Oh, that's, that's what you, I have. You are supposed to determine the facts. Who goes to the cells ultimately is a decision that does not rest with you, does it? But that determination have to emanate from the, the, the facts. Coming from investigation. But it will be. I'd be in the Kumako and the Bola Kisikis Road. So, what was your determination? What was your finding? Munanarana, it will Munanarana get a little across the road. My finding was, I mean, you will need to go. Buba did not um, suppress the information. Made the Kumako and you fee. He sided with all with the authority that he was supposed to side with. I have four more than me along with Lem Punyaton quality. In <laughs> essence, he did not commit an offense. <laughs> that was my belief. That was my assessment. So on that basis, you decided not to put him in the cells? Yes, I called the chief security. Who is James Mendy. James Mendy. I told him, today is Buba, tomorrow is you and me. If we are in Buba's position, we want justice. And we want the people that are dealing with us to be fair with us. So please keep Buba with your guards. Buba with your guards. That this is the situation. And he did that. Okay. And then what happened after that? Buba's case. Mm -hmm. Buba la Karola. Um, I think three, three or four days after, at night, maybe around 12, one, 12 maybe 12 midnight, one o'clock. Because then we used to spend the night at the office. So this day, I decided to go home and have a shower and change my clothes. I did that when I came back. I was told Buba have escaped. Because, because DG came on a conducted tour and found Buba outside light, under light detention and asked Bori to put Buba in cells. So instead of the cells, Bori put Buba in, a, in an open room. And Buba broke the window and escaped. So Bori was made to replace Buba. I found Bori in cells. Bori, what is it Buba not? Was Buba ultimately captured? Yes, the following day Buba was captured. And what happened to him? Buba. What happened to him? I can't, I can't remember. I know he was captured somewhere around Fajikunda. In the, in the he commanded a canoe. No, he commanded. He took a canoe. Somewhere around um, between Radio Seed and uh, Denton Bridge, probably. And we went into that stream towards Fajikunda, somewhere around Fajikunda. He was nice. And brought back to the headquarters. I remember. I when, he came, when, when he came, I think his, his clothes were taught. Because I knew him private, I knew him previously. And I think I came to the door cell. So famous Bambading. Oh, infamous Bambading. Bambading. Yes. So I think I came to the I, I came to the cell door. And told him, Buba, you, you could have beard. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure things would have things would have come to light. There, there was a daba marena. Daba mara benunje. Say that again. There was a daba marena. Daba marena to benunje. And he did not do anything. And unga mank fenke. I don't understand. Can you say it? You didn't get it. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. But Buba wasn't the only person also captured. There was Captain Job. Yes, I think a, a day, a, um, 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 
on the second or on the third, mm -hmm. uh, Captain Job also was brought. And I think Captain Bojan. What happened to these people? Yeah, okay. Um, I think before them, uh, 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 Amadou So was brought. Amadou So brought the first day. Amadou So is an uncle. So I excuse myself from the investigation. I stayed with the briefings. My, my, officers, my officers interviewed him. And they, they took a state, the instruction was to take a statement from him. They took a statement from him. And uh, yes, I went. I took the statement to brief uh, the D, the DG, the DG. I think after the DDG, after a while, I made a demand. DDG came back for a second statement of Buba to test eh, Amadou to test his consistency. Ultimately, what happened to Amadou? Ultimately, Amadou, we were there and I was I received information he was put in cells. Well, I, I put him at the gate. I gave I, he was light detention at the gate. So one of my staff told me that Amadou has been taken to the cells. And I think that very night, no, maybe two, three nights. So I remember it was Job and uh, Bojan who were tortured first before Amadou. So yeah, Amadou was put in cells, but um, on the second or third, Captain Job, like I said, um, I was sitting in my office. When these people come, they yeah. come behind me like this. I'm yeah. facing this. My, when I sit in my office, I sit to the, I face the north. So the special operation people brought uh, Captain Joe first. Yeah, yes, I mean, special operation to Captain Who were these? Who were these special operations people? You man, you know, you mold. Many are on call to live in Dinkira or NIAJ. Kahuda, me to special operation. You man, you mold. You know, op special operations. Um, to the best of my knowledge, yeah, um, special operation coming out on Yam. When Idrissa Job was heading it, yeah, what of Idrissa Job by Nyaton Kayakano? I think we had one or two issues. I'm running a cool flash of the Lamia and go away back in. So, special operation at the time, Wallahi, when I saw Gajaga here, I was surprised. I thought special yeah. operation was Idrissa Job and Lamin Dab. Yeah, yeah, Wallahi, coming up Gajaga, 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 went and cut on the Amut, a special operation, Idrissa Job and Lamin Dab, but in Yunku and Lamin Dab, but Lamin Dab, but Honest to God, I can't remember the guys he was with. Those are small boys. If you go there, make a fact fight. Um, I will always tell him, okay, Sumaraka. No, not Lamin but the rest of the boys, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So while there, I also saw the DG and the DDG. What do you mean by Kuntongko? You are not normal, Uncle. Who? Who were they? Who were they? Louis Gomez and uh, Yanku Babaji. Well, and Louis Gomez and Yanku Babaji. And then? And then after a while, uh, um, one of my staff came to call me that the DG and the DG are at the charge office. And then uh, I came out and went to the charge office. And I found um, uh, uh, Captain Job have been put in that room there. Captain Job, And they have put him on that uh, bench. You know, others holding legs, others holding hands. And one was on the other side, facing the, e facing the east, 
Yeah, and it was too painful. Uh, he was shouting very loud. He wasn't shouting in vain. Something must have happened. They, they, they were, they were, the guy was, uh, one guy, he was beating him terribly. Where was the director general? Both of them were there. All of us were there. Did they say anything? Nothing. If anything, they have encouraged. Lamin Dabo, did he participate in it? Lamin Dabo, for a double that we in Canada. Very well. Ah, did he beat? For a liberal Canada. No, honest to God, to the best of my recollection, he didn't beat. He was holding. He was either holding the, I think the hands, the legs. Ni alatema. He participated in torture. Ah. Your director general, La uh, Yankuba Baji, participated in torture? I believe he was in charge. I'm ah. sure, yes. Well, all of you participated in torture. Ah. None of you complained. At this point, no. Read you what you heard? Lamin Dabo sat on that chair and denied completely that this event never took place. Lamin Dabo sita ni siri ngai be siri ndabe ndo ai bal abal da abela ko ni kuo mem mem fokanda na na manke. Lamin Dabo knows I don't lie. If anything, he ha he hold me to very high esteem. Lamin Dabo ya ndebo kafani ya fo anda yangu ma ndi ba. Well, he said to the commission that you lied. Because I read out your statement to him. Yeah, that is his opinion, but the facts are... When the Dr. Loom issue came, I, 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 have, I, I was kind of shocked. Let's not mix things up. Okay, I'm going to call so, uh, Was Lamin Dabo truthful or did Lamin Dabo lie to the commission? Lamin Dabo, I am for Jang I Twanyal who won for I Fanyal for Commission. He lied. I Fanyal without a doubt. No man hacking philosophy. These people were tortured. Yeah, yes. By all of you. Ha. And Mungal Beleok. Yes. Wow. Uh, Lamin Dabo has not lied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point of correction. You mean as in beating or as in witnessing? Proka kuma ustani yandi. Kominda be le paralo kono le bam pro komin mga kalamuta le mbijele no. This was a concerted collective effort. You move bara le mea longo albele bulo le bakon. I would disagree. That's on our. Um, I wish there was there was there was um an alternative. At that point. Kudo se sodo non se min keno. Mr. Witness. Sewato. Did you protest the tortures? The baroni waro mena bekeri mfoye balamba ya itandi leba. Me and my staff we protest. Ha, dabola mebe do kwa lango na ha ngabalamba. You told us a minute ago. Bari ni mfoye minute yandam kwa. That you said nothing. Imam femfo. No, you we didn't read there. Now after 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 job. Imam fuda nje kabri job bota je. Sifuto bojang. It it ata bojang. Sifuto bojang. Bojang bota je. Me and my staff. Then in that moment. Sat down and said this is this is the wrong route. Unko you you told basically that unko you make a silakan vote. Okay. After these tortures, which you did not protest, you did nothing to say anything. You said nothing. You went along with it. Then you said. Well, this is now too much. That's correct. But in the first instance, it was happening. And you guys did nothing. Yes, if you like, helpless. Helplessly, yes. And uh, the third instance was who? Uh, the third instance, I, 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 I'm, I'm, again, I'm not sure. Uh, the day we, 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 uh, we saw uh, Noah Baji came. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to specifically know who were the torturers were. Well. Well, when we saw Noah, we melted into our offices. Kabringa unohaje dorombe tatano ofisoldo.
at some point, maybe after 20, 30 minutes, we, we had, we uh, had meetings and shouting. And I know Buba... Uh, just a moment. These guys, these junglers, were they working together with the NIA or they were not working together? For a bedroom do go gang in NIL bang for a modern and do go gang in NIL. Because this was the first time I am interacting um, or having to be around with the jungler, sir. Yeah, yeah, you got to go in and see your follow to me along co in jungler tatra dulakili. My impressions were a nami mira wole nyinti ko. Um, um, they would have an assignment for the presidency. President Carola. While somebody is detained at the NIA. And with the aid of whoever at the NIA, probably the Director General or the Deputy Asuke Director General. The Director General will remember no more. Come and execute those missions. So, in essence, from what you said, there was NIA complicity. Yeah, in the activities of the junglers at the NIA premises. On the coming for all of you, the NIA laws and sound in Kono J. Joe Jongula, Lado, Kuning, Kanaki, NIA laws and Sankono J. Ha. And then you had the beatings. And they put their own way. And then what happened? I believe these beatings, the people that were subjected to these beatings were, I believe, um, Buba, Sane. Ndiga dako, mwami ya nko wole bulata nyi niparo kona, wole mbuba Sane. Amadu Sow. Amadu Sow. Because these two people I know them. Kato nyi mwofro lunga wole nyi. I'm not sure if Sajo Jaju was subjected to the same. Malo mfo Sajo Jaju, Captain Sajo Jaju, far from Abu. Amadu and Buba, yes. Amadu ni Buba, haa. I think the jungle has dealt with them. Nga mwela jungle ali, ye muna fwa wole kende kefa mwela. And you did not participate in that? I was inside my office. I had the shoutings and the noise, yes. But these are people that you really knew. Amadou is my uncle. When I came from the village, Amadou was the first person to host me in the Congress. And as such, you could not have participated in his torture? But other people were also arrested for doing nothing actually. Their only crime was that they were related to people who were alleged to have committed crime. And Correct. Give us examples. Um, one that, that was striking to me was um, um, Bailo. Bailo's wife and I think three kids. Bailo la Muso and I Saba. One of them was going to university. Um, I remember every day when I'm closing. The kids will run to me, especially the one at the university. Begging, begging for his university career not to be closed. What what um uh, uh, with, with the wife, Musoni, we quickly investigated and there, he she was not found wanting. The only crime she committed was his bylaws. Former wife, I'm not sure. When she was freed, finally when the management accepted to let her go free. David Colley will not accept her. David Colley Bukasong. And I personally picked the phone and said to David, the, the, investigation, the, the investigations have not found this lady connected in any way or form. And I think he quoted the, the, the prison act or whatever. That she was not accepting her. 
Then I walked to the DG's office. Another that DG official. I said, uh, please, can you write to David and tell him that this woman or this lady didn't commit any crime? I think he, he, he did write or call David, and yeah, the lady was finally accepted by. For for the several people, for the call the number, the number was posted The lady was posted at mile two. I think a day or two, she came back to me and said she was taken to Janjamure Precious. I said to her, go, you don't know where your lock is. And the parents of the girl who was arrested were also there. Yes, they were also arrested. The parents of Janjamure Precious were arrested. The parents of Janjamure Precious were arrested. The parents of Janjamure yeah, all those that were involved, their parents were arrested. Is that standard operating procedure at the NIA? For if a person commits a violation, you arrest those close to this person, mother, father, children, wives? For That was not only wrong, but unacceptable in my position was me and my staff, we were not going to deal with it. There was a little push and pull, but finally they were handed over to other units to deal with it. But because it's NIA, I felt responsible. Every day at 3 o'clock, I will assign a staff to evaluate all the detainees within the headquarters. And we will write and recommend for them to be released. And I think we started doing after the second or third day. Yes. Uh, but I mean, unlawful arrests and unlawful detentions were commonplace at the NIA. Take, for instance, Omar Ndao. Could you tell us about it? I'm going to talk about some of the cases in the jail. We want to hear from you. We could have made a long call. The NIL that is not cool or what? Misal Fever, Omar Ndao, or who? Come on, you call me. Yeah, the issue of Omar Ndao was very pathetic. Ah, Omar Ndao, or who? What kind of nyanya? Who need to know what? Ah, because not only did he didn't do anything. Man, he could have come out and found the road. But he was a very skillful, has all the potential to make this country telecommunications work. And to be dumb like that was very disheartening. But back to your question, he investigated the matter. What, what was the accusation? The accusation has to do, I think there was an AU summit. I can't remember the specifics. Allegedly, either he misinformed the presidency. He was, he was involved in project proposals that were not viable. For no good returns on those projects. So we investigated, we found that to be untrue. But the accusation was untrue. Yes, that the accusation was untrue. And what informed our position was, I think we had an expert opinion from Gamtel. I wrote to Gamtel asking for an expert opinion. Whether the project was viable or not. I think we seek expert opinion from finance. I'm not so GDA, Gambia, Divencho, Divest teacher. And Central Bank. I remember there was one move at the time. So all of these experts are fine. So if I tell you, you know, me I alone do Based on the cash flows of the project, their position was the project 
return was good. Come in, ye be me for well and yinto a load lot of well and come a wood cook at any yam. But in the meantime, what had happened to Omar as a result of this accusation? I say, I'm going to go to the water and go to the cake and go to the water. I'm going to go to Omar and go to the water and go to the water. He was detained. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unlawful. Unlawful. What else did they do to him? In other words, they are not They ended up taking him to mile two. Yeah, I'm some of mile two. Laban. Subject him to a free blows um court 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 proceedings. In other words, they are not going to take him to mile two. Was that in accordance with law? For any law at all. Completely against. It was wrong. Ani womanya nakela. Very. His rights were violated. La nyando ya tinya. And, and he was dismissed from his job unfairly. Absolutely. But this was normal, wasn't it? And then I came to realize it's normal. Langtombongtamba. The same thing happened. Langtombong, yes. Langtombong, ha. Well, if you like, I, I I was involved in the in the in the in the uh, events leading to the the arrest. Yes. Me had been under double the call corner coming for me at the end attack on Muta. I remember it was this day around. What is this time? This is four o'clock. Yeah, four no, five. No, no, no. You were to the phone with the talan talan nani talan lul. I believe uh, yes. I was sitting down somewhere in Kanifing. You get a conversation and you do a do to Kanifing. And I receive a call. A call, sir. About Mare. What Mare? Mare. Mare. What's his name? I can't, I can't remember the name. Does Ibrahim Mare? Ibrahim Mare, yes. Ibrahim Mare, what from? So this Mare was going around. Mare, but no Murumurun Kanka. He was calming people. The mall Sabatin de Candula. Kamol Nene. Kamol Nene. Okay, scamming. I think he's, he, he, he did it to Amadou Samba. Amra Ake Amadou Samba. At the time, Mayo Koli. Ake Mayo Koli Fonala. At the time, Alaji Kurang of Jolof Tutus. Amra Ake Alaji Kurang Fonala Jolof Tutus. Papali of Afrisel. Bawali of Afrisel. Papali. 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 Host of Orders. Ani Mo Jamal. So, I was, I think at the time I was in Gamtel. Amra Uwa to enter at Gamtel. Certainly, I was moved to. I'm not sure, but anyway, let me recollect the events for you. He was arrested. In Aranamura. Yes, I I I followed it up. Blata kuonyo noma. And realize he have run. Naji. He was unwanted. Kuma. He ran to Farafenye. Aye, bora tata Farafenye. And the investigation, I don't want to go into the nitty gritties, but uh, the, pi the picture was he was in Farafet. But he came in Kishi Kishi Ronyan, and he left the door to open up. But he didn't get out of Farafet. And I think, I think if, if, if my memory serves me well, one of the people that he was calling, he's a friend and a brother, the CEO of Farafet Barracks. Well, and CEO of the Farafet Barracks. I called him. And explain the situation to him. He told me Mare just left my office. I will get it. I will get him. So he got Mare and brought him to his office. And we, I, 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 we ask uh, our men, our NI officers in Farafeni. Escort Mare to Banyu. Mare was brought to Banyu. Mare nati Banyu. And at the DG's reception like this, Sam Kuntongko Ning, Mara was made to sit down on the floor. Kaluntongol bisimwa dami, Mara ko Mara siwado. And you know the Ford and Bagu, you know Gambia investigation, everybody, host of clips are coming. Yeah, yeah, coming. Kis kisro kaka Gambia banko kanya me. Kuma nini karoli ada di kat bodula karobela. For four five minutes. Four minutes lulu, minutes nani minutes lulu. Mare changed the subject. Wanted to change the subject. Mare after Kakuma Kongal Nyam falling. Abemil Fokan. And ask for people. Some of the people in the room. There were too many people. Ask. He asked for people. Some of the people to be asked out of the room. Ah, Molbe Siare no bonyu kono bakale so anata foko puri yemo dan dan bondi wo bongo kono. Because of the role I was playing. I don't think I want to be Lord Lamin Takano. I decided to stay. No, in sita je. And when we while sitting down. Wa to ombe siringe. He said, wait, 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 you know, there is uh, 
plot to overthrow the government. Kwenye mbatu 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 yaje ilaftaka ferofa ipuruka njima cha kundaba. Honest to God, I can't remember the bits and pieces. Because for me, I was dealing with a criminal. I saw him as a criminal. If, if I was in charge, the route I took, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have a waiver. Everybody calmed down and wanted to listen to me. I said, I don't belong here. I think, um, yes, if I must have been sitting like this, facing this, and the accountant is like this here. Lamin Marong, child, Lamin Marong was the accountant, it's a childhood friend. Lamin Marong was the accountant, it's a childhood friend. I entered there, I said, boy, I have an urgent mission to Daga. Can I have $10,000? Guy go, boy, in ten hundred dollars Daga, and I have your strategy. So, will you tell me $10,000? Give me $10,000? Manna Nining Kafang, I will tell you now. That's how I went out. Well, I'm fitted out. I joined the ferry, crossed the bar, and I set plus to Daga. But, but even at this stage, you did hear some of the things he said. Oh yes, sadly so. Because huh? one of the one of the people he he he, he implicated was Ngorseka, who uh. was one of my best bosses. But I more form in that when you call Kono Ngorseka doubled and work at a multi million ten kenda bale. Ngorseka and who else? Ngorseka and Juma. I think the Ngorsekas, the Bobajis, the um, Modugais. Ngorseka, Bobaji, Modugais. And one clearing agent. Modugais, like clearing agent. Yeah. Like you. And like you. the saddest part of the story the is... Um, again, for you, for you, for you, you, what are you going to do? Modugais. Modugais. I can't recollect, but he played a role. I can't recollect, Leading to... Uh, my detection of, uh, I'm so more you wouldn't remember, but leading to the detection of where Mara is. I think he wanted to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I can't remember the full story now, but yes, I know that, uh, I mean, I was interested in Mara. In your view, did he tell the truth about these people? Mare is an, a criminal. Mare Mubandi Baldi, criminal I lawyer. see him like nothing other than a criminal. And honest to God, uh, in my office, I would deal with him like a criminal. Nte, nte I would deal with the criminal. Nte kala kuwa criminal lawyer. And nte la office hodo, ni nabe nyo soto la mba muta la kwenye mu criminal hakanolti. We would come to that later. Bina wada la kunyaru domande. He lied about these people and fabricated a case which the government accepted and went went along with eh i faniata ayala nyimul kan eh ayi ayi dum andum masa kunda nata na wota i sonta wala without a doubt ani hakil flamanta la wota very sad indeed and ni kuya warata very decent people dai mo kendol fa mo to mile to um ntata mile to ba is ba ah man ke ko amulo ndoya ta bak you were at some point involved in mahmud sise and ibu job case what in a certain da in a double a mound sees a an ibu job la kick quarter yes ah tell us about it very briefly a kumala suti ya kang umo full of anna kuwa nying kuma fanyala ila quarter ba anyway mamut job and sise ya je mamut job and sise la kuwa I came to know their affairs because they rented a neighbor's house. Nata ya kuolo nyami wole nyindiko katu ya dula mentanu kakajie luwa si nsi nyole wote. And I prepared the tenancy agreement. And untaleketa mwote miya la mko nga saferoke ito tema aninko datu. Were you moonlighting as a lawyer? For ito la mwila uteke la lawyer ati shema ba. Exactly. So they were going with a, I think a Gambian boy. So when we prepared this, these people, they have rented the place, they disappeared in Tinet. So I will discuss with the, the, this, this guy about this boy. And that they were made to understand they have gone to Guinea-Bissau. So there was this day, the government said um, um, uh, for a team to go to Guinea-Bissau. A task force or a panel was formed. 
What were they to investigate? The whereabouts of uh, these two guys. Why was the government interested in them? I believe at this point, um, whether a, a, a UN task force was coming or a a AU fact-finding mission. There was some a, a high-level visit to the land. Fen me kananu mo le kananu gambeji be for AU la mo le bang for you and I. I believe according to the investigation, police that, investigation that, report. La ta ko police o la wo kisi kisi re o nying report o nying. Owatola. Owatola. There were these people were. It it was likely. Kamulo na ko. Telephone. Or some interest in Guinea Bissau was, 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 was what was presented kind of in that report. <laughs> you, you, you are now waffling. Uh, you are not, uh, not speaking directly to the issues. What was the interest in these two guys? Again, like I said, I, I cannot talk about the police report. The film for the police or our report or Carol. But the trip to Bissau, or the Kata Elatani Yeminke Bissau, was informed, in my belief, the latter men, as a result, Proko Kuoke, of the fact that Uka Longo. Fingers were pointed at these people that they have some business interest in Bissau and mm. probably. Is, is that a more a chodile koye business or should I cadam again? But it's still a business or how much of a business or a Is that a crime? Is that a reason for the government to investigate anybody? Oh, we all have business interests somewhere. Being a hammer sort of like a business or a caradola. Not at all. Why were they being investigated? No, probably you didn't hear me. They are, they are nowhere to be seen. Imagine, My friend, many people leave the country every day. <laughs> that too is not a crime. That is not a basis why our government should investigate anybody. Okay, okay Dalilo, Dalilo member. Tell us the reason why these people are being investigated. I've seen your point now. Like I said, coming like out for Coming out for nyam. Um, you, a proba, a, a, a United Nations or AU yeah, yeah, fact-finding mission or investigation team was coming here. UN, wala AU, <laughs> Again, no reason for anybody to be investigated. Well, well, I'm, I'm, okay. The interpreter, please. <laughs> Again, there is no reason. That is no reason why anybody should be investigated. The fact that the UN is coming here, they come every day. I prior to that, it was on the news everywhere. That these people have been killed. And for me, government wanted to clear their name that definitely these people were not killed. And they say, I'm going to 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 say, and, 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 and allegedly, and don't get too these people were frequenting Bissau in and out. You look Bissau like a dunk of Finti Bissau. Again, did the papers saying that these people were killed? Did, this, did the papers say why they were killed? For Kibar Kaito Ning, where I follow Koyi in Mulfala, for Hanika B. Kibar Kaito Ni, I tend to be like in Karo, and you really like Malaya Sabu, Yeni Mulfa. No, I think at that point, I'm a water. It was very speculative. I, what I hold until the, the I heard it at the TRRC. Come in, friend of mine, go more by focus on the wrong. Focus on what we're doing. I'm going to TRRC. Fanyami. Because they had money. Katuwa watu kodo lebebul. Because there was this woman. Katuni muso benyunge. Where are we here? So a restaurant here. Me along ka restaurant. We used to hang out with them. Like I said, I follow the news. Me along ko ani ka taranyo kana. Come in, come in, come in, kibaroto. So those bits and pieces I have in my memory. Well, specifically, no, but again, it was informed by a, a fact-finding mission from the United Nations. Uh, by the time you people went to Bissau, what the government knew that 
that they had captured and killed these people. Ko yenyu numu mutala ndu ye fale. True or false? To nyama fafania. Very true, and that was uh, that was very shocking. And the work that you called me along ka akija forward. It was very shocking. Akija forward na bak. In fact, your trip to Bissau. Was only intended to provide false information to the visiting trips that were coming to Gambia, the visiting dignitaries. Absolutely. In fact, providing false information to international organizations and foreign nationals was normal in this government. Absolutely. Tonya. Yaya Jame would instruct the government to lie and provide false information. Yaya Jame be kagodi la mansakunda la puruka kibardi mola me alonko kufani ya kibarola. Absolutely, more more than that. Investigator, like in the Marinda case, I received a letter from President's office instructing what interest I have in that case. Coming, coming. It is being delayed. It was taken there, handed over to the police. Amanda ola karola. I can't tell what case ni. Ite mone nta hamen ko tige. Enata kumakano di ko ye case ni sa wande police olia. So what we had was a government that would torture people and extract false confession from them. Correct. Orokbaringa memo yijang wala mnyiti ko masa kunda mbe nunjang masa kunda la me ya longo abe mol muda la kile sindi tu ageni kile tajirenti ya kaku makao soto ibulu me ya longo kaku makao ni ya soto ibulu fani yale kama follow mto nyati. Absolutely, many of it. A government that would fabricate evidence against its citizens. Masa kunda me ya longo abe fani yata la la fano la bangu dingo luka. I couldn't agree more because I lived it. A government that would disappear its citizens. Masa kunda me ya longo abe fano la bangu dingo luka la be yemani la. Agree. A government that would fabricate evidence in order to cover up its dastardly acts. Masakunda me ya longo abe kumakano tala ba lala mo kumfani ala puru atefango la baro ninga ita ayo mabo. I agree. And it had the NIA to do it for it. And dung NIA wole mdingira wole be o masakunda ya je puru kau kool kae. NIA at the at the forefront yes. And no matter how you look at it, none of you was clean. All of you were tainted. I guarantee you, many of us are killing. That I can guarantee. All of you, most of you were involved in torture, including yourself. I guarantee you, not one. Be bring it. 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 Mr. Witness, you tortured people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, uh, the, the circumstances, if you bring it, uh, if it is true, uh, I will say Tell you are here, you are facing the nation, you are facing the country. Yeah, 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 like I said, first in the 30th December. Come in half of the morning, December carol till 10 of the morning. That equates to torture. Come in, we cannot allow them to touch the entire. That's exactly what we did. And no one. That's exactly what I did. No one can vote. And the evidence is. And don't say don't mention. Not only job. Manke job. Sorry, not only Morunjai. Manke Morunjai drone. Or job. But job. Jajanyas uncle. Jajanyas baren. Buba. Buba. And I have stopped them. I did some good things. And I'm more Jamal Mia and Konga Kuki. Back to your back to your question. So I can come here and you didn't carry it. I remember. I cannot remember the years. Hello, my name is Mutade. Yeah, there was this white man who was killed in Kerseri. But he knew more Koyo for the film Koyo so that Mia and I are far Kerseri. I think the police were investigating the matter from January, February up to March. No, I mean the police will be kissing, kissing, rocking, and walking, and walking. Walking between January, February, for March. And they, there was no, no, no breakthrough. You imagine, still a sort of no. 
And the matter was brought to our office. And I was handed over the case. I yes. cannot remember who was supervising me. And the case in Dintera, ma hakilo mama na ya mbel mina ya Morocco. But but there, MI6 were MI6, MI5, five. MI5 five were involved. No, but the MI5 were for not having no coin So the British police, MI5, came and with the Gambia police. And the police all were not an angel. And they briefed me. They briefed me about the facts. Yeah, and they saw me, this, this man, even if he's going to the toilet, he will call the daughter. Whatever he was doing, he will tell the daughter. He communicated, he was in contact. And uh, it happens that in this case, these people, they took this guy, they took him to Kabakel, and killed him, and buried him there. So back to the NI headquarters, when I was briefed, so I, looked at, I looked at all the evidence, I said to the guy, I think he's, he's Bojang, I said, Bojang, you are responsible, you know something. So I told the police and the MI5, you can go. I think the MI5, we are scheduled to, to, to go back to England because they have been here for a long time with the police. So I told them, let them go, we'll deal with the matter. I think under 15, 20 minutes. You know, I, 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 I tied Bojang's hands. So he's a small boy. Uh, Mr. Witness, Edo, let's cut the chase. Okay. Let's cut through the chase. You tortured the guy to confess. And this would not be the first time you torture or the last time you torture anyone. No, excuse me. I'm coming to the other guy. Because there were two. But Bojang. Cook the cook, 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 cook the thing here. Put this put this white man in his car. Uh, you uh, see, the, 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 the fact that Bojang and this other guy killed the white man. There's no reason why you must torture Bojang to confess. Well, what we are talking about now is the fact that you tortured Bojang to accept having committed a crime. Okay. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. That's absolutely different. So tell us about the torture. So, 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 so when we arrested, Bo when Bojan came, Bojan, we didn't touch him. I just tied, he's a small boy, he was terrified. Bojan, you No, 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 listen, I'm, I agree with you. Wallahi, I wish Bojang is alive. I was made uh, to understand he, he's dead, may he's well rested. Well, and do you realize what you have done? Yeah, Kalamutala, you mean through the torture, your torture, he confessed. Is it? Yes, no, he didn't confess. He told us who killed the man. That is, well, if he tells you who killed the man, it, the most that it means that he knows how it happened. Yes. In fact, that, that puts him in complicity. It's as a result of that Bojang was convicted. Is it? No. Of course, Bojang was convicted for murder. Bojang, yes. he not for for his murder. For. yes, but you tortured him to yeah. extract that evidence from him. Yeah, I for. No. We tortured cows. You first tortured cows. Bojang. Yeah. You first tortured Bojang, he implicated cows. You tortured cows, he confessed. So all of them were convicted. As a result of that conviction, Bojang was executed. Just look at your actions. Are you proud of that? Honest to God, let, let, if I go here, let me go to the firing squad. I'm so proud of what I did in that incident. So you are proud of torture? I am. No, I'm not saying torture. Listen to me. No, no, no. We have, we have to call a spade a spade. We are not 
talking about somebody who killed a person and the killing is investigated. We, all of us, have to accept that is what has to be done. But in so doing, your actions are judged by, civil, by the standards and norms of civilized behavior. Do you take pride in torturing these two people? To confess to this crime? Council, allow me to say this. Answer the question. Do you take pride in torturing these two people to confess? I am where I am sitting, I'm I am not I'm not in a, the slightest doubt. That the, the facts I got in that issue, in that case, if they are presented to me today, given the fact that we have no equipment, we have no resources, we have nothing, we only use our common senses. Under extraordinary circumstances. So if, if, if I believe, my mother have killed or my brother have killed and the facts are presented like they were in this occasion I would not talk back I would want to see the person in my too. Mr. Witness you are answering an entirely different question you are forming questions in your head and answering them but you would answer my question. My question is, first, follow, follow. these two people were tortured to give a confession. You agree with that? Right? So this evidence was not obtained because you were skillful and smart. This evidence was obtained by fraud because you tortured these people to submission. Because you were skillful you can choose to disagree. The evidence is already on the record. You have confessed to torturing these people for them to submit and give you the answers. And the fact that you are going to be Kausu is a rebel in Kasamas. Kausu is a rebel in Kasamas. And when we, when, we, when, we, we, uh, when we went to where they killed this man and buried him, Bojang paid Kausu $10,000. Bojang paid Kausu $10,000. Kausu had a, 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 a gun with with one bullet. Kausu had a gun with one bullet. Kausu had a gun with one Kausu had a gun with one bullet. Kausu had a gun with one bullet. Kausu had a gun with one bullet. The man is a tall guy, hefty. They shoot him one gun and he was there, he didn't die. Next to the highway, he go and got sticks and beat him until he died. Probably talk to the MI5 and you probably see the pictures. The, the uh, MI5 they acted in a barbaric manner, isn't it? Yes. You also acted in a barbaric manner. Of course, barbaric action made with barbaric action. So both of you are to be condemned for such barbaric actions. Okay. okay, then so you are a torturer. That is a great story. Well, I'm happy to, happy to your tortures did not even stop with these people. No. You also tortured Izzat Faraj and Musa Job. They were brought to the NIA, you were investigating them, and you tortured them. That is not true. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Mr. Witness, once a torturer, 
always a torture. You can call it. I have lived all my life in this country. You are the person who said you tortured these people. Is that not true? Very correct. Could you answer now? You tortured people. You tortured, you tortured uh, Bojang and Kausu. Of course, yes. Uh, ah, and Kausu. That makes you what? It makes you a torturer. That is very incorrect, uh, Kansu. Well, call it whatever you want. Yes. But that puts you in the band of the barbaric people just like Kausu and Bojang. It's just to varying degrees. And I will repeat again, if, if, no that, that, will work, if that, I have a track record, that will put me in that equation, I repeat, honest no to God, I have no regrets. But it is shocking and disappointing that you sit here and take torture as a badge of honor and claim we should give you medals for it. We refuse, we say that this is torture, this is behavior that ought not to happen in the public space. It ought not happen in the public, this in, in any situation. The constitution as read out by the chair yesterday, section 21, I believe, absolutely prohibits torture. But it is shocking. It is shocking that you sit here and wear it as a badge of honor. Especially for a person who is landed in the law. Again, um, Council, what I, said, I, 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 I didn't even go, I, I didn't even hide in one way or the other. Yeah, I, yeah, told, and I, took I took responsibility. What I'm saying, Mr. Chair, I have no further questions. Thank Mr. you. Before I ask another question, um, I need you confirm yeah. that you did the Marseille that one barbaric action calls for another barbaric uh, barbaric reaction. For, Do left you the, maintain that? Left the uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to put this into context. Left uh, what I mean is my actions. We are wrong and wrong and wrong. However, but um, confronted with what I was confronted with, I decided to choose that act, choose that route, even though it was not correct. But for argument's sake, if it was my daughter or my father, you know, because those are MI, MI, MI5, they, 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 they jubilated when we called them that we had a breakthrough. They were so happy, but more more than than that, that, Mr. Mr. Chairman, this country, more than that, this country is a tourism destination. Sorry, witness, my question was very clear. Your statement that one barbaric reaction calls for a barbaric re reaction. Are you maintaining that? Or was it a slip of the tongue? No, what I said was here was a barbaric action, met, uh, met with a barbaric action. Nko. Look at, at all, all my previous dealings. dealings. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm asking, not, not looking into that at all. Exactly. I just want to make this no, point no, not at all. No. on this thing. No. Which was a slip of the tongue. Yes, I would call it. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. much. And the tortures that you have done... Uh,
They all came after you obtained an LLB at the University of Four Columbia Law School? Four years after I had a four-year-old background, I had a degree, I had a sort of focus on it, and I had a degree. This was well before that. This was 2002? You were not a lawyer yet? No. You were not a lawyer yet? No. You were not a lawyer yet? You were not a lawyer yet? But you knew that the torture was unlawful. But you are not a torture yet. I will. I. I. I don't torture. And everybody who have come before me, I treated them with the respect they deserve. I give them food. Even if you have killed, I, I give you food. That is. That is who I am. Because I want to be treated fairly. And so I extend the same fairness in my dealings with people. But like I said to the council, council in this occasion, yes, I did. Ah. And there is no point. I have swear to the Holy Quran. And sit here and lie. You did what? Sorry? You did what? I, I, I did torture um, council. Okay. Oh, so that was his point. If you tortured council, I did. you were a torturer. If that is the description, I happily accept. And who else did you torture? But my position is this is this is all I, I know. He talk about Farage and Job. No, and well, I would well, happily I go into that. That is not Joe. true. And did you torture body? anybody after Kausu or before Kausu? Never in my life. Even people you who tortured only one person only. throughout your career. Only, only. two. Oh. And witness the Kausu uh, and Bojang. The case of Kausu and Bojang. So two. Yes. Mofula and, and witnessed. The, uh, be a passive participant in the torture of uh, uh, was it Captain Job and uh, yeah. uh, and uh, Captain Bojang? Captain Job Captain Bojang Thank you, uh, Mr. Jalo. Um, let me take you back um, to the West African migrant situation. We have a few questions um, uh, in that area. And uh, I'll put them in boxes. What I need for our subsequent review of your testimony today is to um, I just narrow certain things down to that. So I'll give you four boxes. You just, um, tell me individuals that I'm asking you to put in those boxes. Box one would um, essentially be the from Barra to uh, the Navy Yard. Oh, sorry, interpreters. Okay, uh, come on, uh, chairman, come on for all you go. I believe I'm going to do the meal and go back to the box. So I tell you about the box, 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 the box. And uh, that box would at least have uh, two individuals there, yourself? Box, the box, more full of them. Now, Box the first box. Box following it. It is from a better road. Barra to Navy Yard. Kabo Barra. Box. Kabo Barra. Kata four uh, soldier roll uh, Navy to Jana Banjul. In that box, what you box were the one um, who had gone to Barra Police Station. It is a Kata Motimia. It is Tata Barra Police Station. And uh, the uh, station shift officer. Yeah. Handed you um, 50 West African migrants. And remember, do call and was station or today. Where more deal? I mean, that a mortal lula I will deal and so in that box we know you have uh, uh, Usman Jalo. That's you. And what box or don't uh, Usman Jalo so today? Well, it's who is the shift um, uh, officer at the Barra Police Station and, um, who handed you the 50 me along individuals? Well, if you can just give me the name. Me along Unfortunately, I, I, can't, I can't remember the name. Yeah, I cannot remember okay, the name. Well, well, if you look at that day, probably oh, the police... We'll, will we'll find that out then. Uh, and uh, um, box two... Is the one that uh, is uh, the dispersal and the disappearance of the 50 uh, migrants. Well, Who uh, can you tell, as uh, some, uh, somebody with a very solid background in the NIA, belong in that box concerning the dispersal, where they were taken and dispersed them to various police stations, and uh, also their disappearance? Give us some um, two names. 
Daftar dua flat di nanyim box flat yang satu. Main kabri nyum mall, kabri ye bon nam bara fena ada banyul albe sambakang, alie talan talam polis station atau tarik. Saya be mau tur tu flat flat yang nol ena itu mian longko, ibol kelawo nyim box flat atau nyim kapro atau kamu faham? Can you can you repeat the question again? Give me names of people who were involved. Uh, in the disappearance okay. and the dispersal okay. of the 50 migrants. Okay. Yeah, um, like I said, um, I mean, I have, I'm mean, not sure whether the distribution occurred when we were going to Baba Job's house uh, or after. My belief was it was from Baba Job's house was the di distribution. Ma long for kabul watu mengata Baba Job la korda to lamba yo mol jinis boka ke talan talan for wada kabul for the Baba Job la korda to lamba kabul na dana nyum. Well, I cannot I cannot remember participating in the distribution. But in Hakulo Baka in NIA, I just want you to tell us. Yeah, I'm coming to your next question. Okay, fine. So your next question is. Lanyi ni karu do momenti wale. Who? Ma. And like I said, the state guard bombard the I know. Bombard the Molon. Bombard the I know. Bombard the Molon. So I can't I can't can remember the other the other people. Modo ni mo hakilo mo wal muta. So in that box, you're giving us only one name. Yes. Uh, the dispersal of these individuals and their disappearance. Yes. Bombard is the only one in that yes. box. Yeah. Right. We go to box three. The alleged murder of the fifty. Um, West African migrants. Well, in case is Again, with your background in the um, uh, NIA, you must have some idea who perhaps some um, uh, had been involved Come in, in the in the murder of these um, individuals. Box sabanjawani. Well, any more talulu e fata nyami. Katuite be do kola NIA. Inyanta ka alone mol miyalongo wole da brata wo faro nyengo. Again, this is very speculative. I don't have the facts. But my instinct. With what I saw at the at the, at the navy. What I saw at Baba Job's house. All those acts together. Direct to one point again. Bombard and that team and whoever they are associated. Bombard them and I'm on your me along so again, Bombardier is the only one that you would mention for box number three. Yeah, like I wish today will come. I would have taken these people, each of their names. Yeah, yeah. When I hear 44 Ghanaians, my heart bleeds. Yeah, long. Come in, ninga alone. I am not so. 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 I am not if you ask me, probably I have dealt with three, two or four Ghanaians, not more than four. So again, I was hungry, I was tired, I took these people, it was late. Because I'm very careful. If, 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 if I could have foreseen this, I would have done the right thing. Why I know without a doubt. I know without a doubt. The killing will surface. Yes, you cannot kill 50 people and you think uh, you will go home and sleep. No, it will come down the last, the fourth and the last um, uh, box, and again with your background in NIA. Well, I'm NIA. That box is the cover-up of the murder of um, uh, the crime of murder of um, uh, the 50 West Africans. Who would you put in that box that we would um, uh, uh, look at? Come in, sir. I will just do the work. Case or no? Come in, you are more than far. You are more talulul me along with you. Fall. Come in, just like Martha La Faroni. So, ni ba o case or nothing. Ni ba more do the job. Be just like talk the job. This is the cover up. Come in, yeah. Keep cool. Let me and come, Mabo. I would say government. I don't know what would that mean. Government. For the man, so kunda ma o koto be kala mindi. Whatever the government would mean to you. Head of the government, Masakunda Kodo be kelly bulu minti dar. Head of the government, Masakunda Nyatongo. Tago bunda Nyatongo. I I definitely don't know how the answer to. If you don't, thank you very much. Commissioner, if you have any questions. Commissioner, na le njini karo. Deputy Chair, you have to go. Sir, Chair, normal on call akane njini karo. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Esa. Thank you, Mr. Jalo. Abraka Chairman, Abraka Esa, Abraka Etesedo.
Before we come to the West African migrants, I am interested in Modunjai. Modunjai la kuwa katanya kuleti left Milan. The person that was evacuated from RV. Th and taken to the NIA. Mommy, I don't call you all a bondi, Yasika Kabundi, Liptano to Kasamba NIA. What was the rationale Mune for removing him from hospital? Munama Sababo, the Walla Dalelo, the Kabundi, Liptano to Kasamba NIA. Like um, Council, uh, sorry, um, Chair, um, Commissioner, yeah, when, Commissioner. When, 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 when I came to the RVTH. When I asked whether Mordia had eaten, Kabinga ni nikaro kafu Mordia yedumuroka. Mordia he was covered in a white cloth. Ya muru anim fani kwa. He removed the cloth and we 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 saw eye to eye. I wore fano ni bonda nyato le nanya flow benta. And I can feel that the the comments I made whether he had eaten that have comforted him. Anunga joko kabinga ni nikaro kudrum fani yedumuroka le wakera kula di mia mia niyo sabatindi. And I also didn't feel that uh, leaving him there, anything could happen. It's gone everywhere. Katu ngaje ko nimkomba bulaje kuo kuseke no katu kido lbe dulabe fata fata ren dulabe. So I decided for his security. Not of Jacob Komala Tanko. Take him to the take him to the NIA headquarters. And for the for the subsequent week or two, he was not put in cells until I think after I left. Yeah, yeah. Mana bula kaso ko na wo weki kilingo flanja ngobe for kabri watum number ten. No as I would lie. At, at, at some I point, for yeah, for one reason or another, me, uh, I was there, I was told Mordia is put in cells. Uh, so at least he stayed with us for a week or two. But so his heart hit him. him. So he had the proper medical care when he was at the NIA. Yes. Yes. You can ask him, yes. Uh, Not only medical care, but also for him. Now the next question is related to the West African migrants. You have indicated that there were two women in the group of 50. One of them you had some connection with because she looked like somebody that you knew. Did you ask her her name? No, I didn't say we have connection. I said I felt a Ma connection fuku. because she looks like... But I like said you had a connection with yes, her. Yes, yes. No, you have no, a no, connection, no. it means you feel this connection. I didn't say... So, when... You didn't ask her name? No. And you don't know what happened to these two women? I think the last time I saw them was at the PIU. We had the team probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to them. I have no idea. No idea. Okay, thank you. All I know is one is a Sierra Leonean, one the other one is a Liberian. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll take commissioners on my left and my right. Thank you. 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 Imam C, you have the floor, please. Imam C, la kanen yinka. Usman Jallo. Usman Jallo. Now. Lana na pular. Abeti. Aye. Milo majar na he sedan faga manga. We have to allow for interpretation. In. Not full. Kulma ngai nui uchi sa sede abi. I'm greeting you based on your testimony that you gave here. Kulnam dal gota linjogi mi. Kulnam lo tomami. Lima lai laj moi. What I want to ask you is. Ghanaian yo yo bingalin tige bot. Those Ghanaian people, when you set your eyes on them. Bifingai tego agnyom. Until the place where you sep we are separated with them. Did you observe whether they have eaten or not? Whether they have drink or not? According to what I observe, uh, I was assuming that when they were from Dakar, they haven't been until they were at, uh, they they from Bara. Until I brought them to Banjul. So my concern was that they, these are hungry people, they're tired. 
ñaarel bi jigen bi nga wakon nonu the second question is the lady that you are talking about ko wu def la takkon trop that lady is so close to you ci taayim bobu rek la wala ci mujjantel bi is it the beginning of things or at the end of events no again luma si xam moy what i know about it is jigen bi fuma ko gis be ma ma fuma gis gay yep moy fi naka la tudati um navy at the navy headquarters where i saw all of them was at the navy headquarters because light mu nga fa because there was light te ñep dañ tok ni jakarang and they were all seated down so ki ndaws la xala am yaram and this lady is somebody who is hefty yes and he is fair like the one comme uh, just like how librarians taw, look like taw, and she is not that tall so buma ko gise suma ko mel nonu moma don ligel so when i saw her somebody like her was Man, walking wow ni nuro ni nuro nan then i said wow these two these people they look why like, lulen utelo nak man kuma don ligel but, the, but the difference was the person jig, who was working for me was from Serena, but a very good lady mun ligel and she can do her job Muna very well and she can take care of my so, children and that was it Hello. 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 thank you thank you um yes i'm commissioner kinte commissioner kinte mola wala kene ñine ka assalamu alaikum usman wa alaikum assalam um ya fu ñe jango bi ralé ñu samba fo nebi you said here that when you took these people up to the navy al nate samba baba job la dula to kololi when i had and took them to baba job's residence in kololi am ngalon ko silo kan natara e kam en foy man me remember i know on the way the things that you said you could not remember o manya na kala hakil bula kote that to not be something that your mind should recall am because uh, because nin dula kilen nem if it was only one place asikane hakilola you can forget about it but piu but the paramilitary kairaba kairaba ngamere kotu fo nam folen and i think you mention kotu here baba job baba job nale ni lona no beke te la moto be boso no if you have stopped at these various places and your vehicle were was running etal ete dan na lon na dorong ko lota la le mol jindi je bari hani mol hapo fango is it studio no ala you may know you may not just know that people were dropped there but you may know also how many people were disembarked from and do more less ya mo talulu nini o futata dula la bango ta nini ni mo tanni fulale futata je and no matter how many people were like 50 people even if uh, you, you were arrived there with at least 14 people woto akoy ndim mo bang Then, then make, make it clear to us how does that place how how does things happen there um should i speak in english or mandic mengo me ah ya on dia mo colleta si to talk is not easy the fact of the matter is o be mo minti um ntenge ta ntenge bulandi bo soto at the navy headquarters i make them enter the vehicle at the navy what i want to say is this i am a human being and i don't want to lie and i ma lef ko fania fo bari na recollectiono but what i can remember amanta ko stop stop stale before baba job it's not like we were making many stops before arriving at baba job alate between me and allah bo council ko but council said kabrimina fo dun tambitan in kairaba station and in court when we were coming did we pass by kairaba station and court i am rundi ba and he took me back simply because simple cartoon ko kabrimina ta baba job la korda when we arrive at baba job's compound i cannot remember participating in dropping them at court in kairaba and in pi hakilo mamuta fo nge jindi kairaba le court wani so when sunday o when samba wo karo and that is something that so ka nga bula fulan fulan so that thing make clear doubt in my mind usman adula siata la pura ke fula fulaati 
Usman, it is the place is too much for you to be down. Nindula kilimuno ase fula fula. If it was one place, it could be that. Saban nani amanya na fula fula la. Three, four. Left ngai nindula seni ande umuto nyale. What was to clear this? It came in longe uofo. Consul la miro wara imemu e umkudol. Consul what he thought or what he thinks is different. Ning alak tema. Aha. Between me and Allah. Namen long. What I know. Belief to men. What I believe. He drew from the navy. But no stop. Malo. Hani stop claim market. He didn't make any stop until we arrived. Yo, mbadu ngana sign. Bado, bado, bado. Wewe yako indiko. Hani mala fikla, mala fikla definitive kije. Kwa ni witness do nata. Because if another witness dropping, dropping leg, and he said that the person is, they make a drop. Stop, I love it witness la opinion or respect la because probably you are correct. I want to respect that witness opinion because but for that man you believe. No, Usman. That is what I wrote. Usman ngabolori nyindulando. You see Usman. Nindula killing the four fuller for Saba. If it is about three to four places. It's a probability la la no jay. You cannot say it you cannot say Aketale Wara Mank. It may happen or not. Again. Na statement ohai na ngamen safi wale mu nyintiko. Hani say up to now my statement is I picked them from the navy up to And don't we be sabata ring wale bala. Absolutely. No. That's why you start. Mbatu o fanam be me yitandila ni mol be jila boso kono ka de ko be jele. What would that so is when people are arriving. What may have arrived before me. Sorry chairman we can't hear anything they're speaking over each other. If you could please um tell the interpreters we can't hear a thing. Okay. I'll wait. Um ngamen fo wale mu nyintiko. What I'm saying is when upon your arrival at Baba Job's residence, even when they reach there before you, even if it's less than a few minutes, if, if 50 people disembark from the vehicle, then that is something very strange. Mm -mm. Pro, that's very pronounced. That is pro very pronounced. Okay. Commissioner, again. Mm -hmm. Commissioner, how do you say? Without a doubt, definitive. Mm-hmm. You have to believe. Mm-hmm. What I believe. Mm -hmm. I took these people from the Navy. I took these people from the Navy. I brought them up to Baba Job. Maybe they have arrived five, ten minutes before me. I made sure. But when we arrive, mm -hmm. it's fifty people. You are going to Baba Job, yeah. I, I didn't count. But, but, but I'm going to come out to the no responsibility tale. Fine, because you men fanam for yalo ne kumo kono. Iko ya je ko ebe la du la lu soto. But what do you have stated? You said all of them they have place to lie down. Oto e la du la talulu men deda. Then ani ni la du la mutani mfulati. Ulu fanam jam fata nyola ba ke pura ke fula fulati. Anya talulu la kumo leka. Ma fo ma fo e ngis. Kau mesti saya ye minfo. Eko itu larang orang tidak boleh minta atau larang talu. Okay. You have stated here that you have prepared a bedding for them more than almost fifty beddings. Ma fo nyam. No. Okay. Can you come? Oh, I minfo. Ole muniintiko. What do you have stated here? Very foot at the Baba Job ya. When you are upon your arrival at Baba Job. Aje le ko nyunu be la du la lu sotole. You have realized that all of these people. All of these people they have a place to sleep, as you stated it in your testimony. I mean, for them, you know, what I said is that Korda was an empty, empty, empty place, like house, empty, honey, empty. Baba Job's compound was an empty land. Bungol, empty bungol. Aha, good. Empty house. There is no bed. When you go larang, ladula, ladula, you need to larang. When they are larang, you know, interpret the larang, you know, when they are larang, you know, you go ladula. Can you can hear? Can I talk now? No, the interpreter has not interpreted that. I mean, I, uh, is the interpreter who mentioned bed, but uh -huh. I never mentioned bed. Place to sleep. Yeah. Uh, the Yo, nka mi mfole mu indiko. Ni mu talulu la ladula ko topoto. Ani ni mu tani mfula dama la ladula ko topoto. Wul te mu fanu tale puru aike tumado bat. Unyanta kwa ino lal. Allow the interpreter now to interpret that. Uh, what, what I am saying is that if you prepare really a place of sleep for some for almost fifty people, and now it is about twelve people that you prepared for, for where they will lie down. No. 
When you make it big no. by base, no? Yeah. If you have prepared a uh, sleeping arrangement for 50 people, vis-a-vis -vis for 12 people, that difference is so significant that it cannot be a probability. Can I answer? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. And, uh, Again, I want us to. I, I want to help you put this into perspective. Yeah, you left okay, Marco. Can you go for I send a question on that? I cannot recollect exactly what happened. My belief. Akilo ma muta no mimfo kera de komenta la tamina. These people were all fifty of them were brought to Baba Jobs compound. You mall be mo talulo be ye nati Baba Jobs la kora kora. From Baba Jobs compound. Kabo Baba Jobs la kora to. Because I think the Navy, the, the State Guard people brought, they were with a pickup. I State Guard mall, it will need pickup. I want to believe they took some to court. Mm. Or probably somebody else took to them to court. But the, 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 the reason why I'm believing uh, Senior Counsel's story, that is what makes more sense. That the boss on its way brought these people before Baba just come and when I came, you know, whatever I found there, that was but it. But I didn't even have the slightest doubt that this, the, these people were going to disappear. Uh, hello. Uh, perhaps, Mr. Chair, maybe I should just help here. Yes. Uh, I am not testifying. I am not a witness. The proposition that I made to you was just to ask a question and for you to react to it. Uh, it is not my theory or it is not my position. It's just to ask whether there was a possibility that people may have been dropped off along the way. Uh, but to get that point. Mm -hmm. Come in, left and Laja. Nta manke moti No misalong isafo for nga la nyami for wolem for wante. Left away senia commission on yati. And, but for whatever it is worth, uh, witnesses can only testify to what they know. Sometimes what they know may not make sense because there is a bit that they do not know. So perhaps we should appreciate the bit that they do not know. Recognize it as a gap as it is. And to try to chase that gap from elsewhere. Uh, just like the two witnesses of this morning, they have said slightly different things, but most of what they said was almost identical. The difference, the reason is because they saw things from different perspectives. What this witness did not know is that his boss also went to the ground. And that boss would be called to testify on Thursday. And all these questions that uh, Commissioner Kinte asked, very important questions, would be answered that day by that witness. And the simple reason is that he was along the same route with this guy but this guy did not know that. And what that his boss saw and what he saw are very similar, but also fundamentally different, because they were at different points. So I'll encourage Commissioner Kinte to be patient a little bit. All his doubts would be cleared when that witness testified. I say this because I have the advantage of having the evidence in my possession and seeing things. So, so you can take it from me that the, the questions you ask would be answered on Thursday. Thank, Thank you very much, Council. Um, now I'm moving to the case of uh, Ibu Sise and uh, Mahmoud Job.
Ibusise ni mamu duo bla kuo. If I recollect, you said you yeah. you you brokered or made some arrangement involving the arrangement of their uh, where they rent or whatever. Ni hakulo bakang ya for the throw some light on that. Komi itele ma kwe pro dinkrato mi ane nyanta kasi no walter. They rented they rented a house. We bungo le luas. And the person they rented is is acquainted to me. He is, he is, is, uh, the guy asked me to prepare him, help him tenancy agreement. I think it was the first or second or third week. After the preparation of the tenancy agreement, I never saw to sign. So when the when my neighbor told me, I told him go to Birkama area council, ask for permission, so that they come and, and open the house and remove these people's stores, so that you can have your house and rent it. That's what they did. Birkama area council came and put the stuff and took charge of whatever was there. Okay, so you have never known anything about them from that one day only. You had never interacted with them never. and never inquired about them. Never seen them. But you were assigned to go to Bissau. Few weeks or few few months later. Maybe a year or two years. This is for Sanjifula. Oh, after a year or so. Maybe over a year, over two years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. If there are no further questions, Mr. Commissioner. Mr. Jalo, if you have any concluding remarks to make, please proceed to Mr. Jalo, I want to ask you a question to ask you a question. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Allah Baraka Baraka, Mr. Chairman. Council members. Council Dokulal, Council All the Commissioners sit here. Commissioner Mbembe is sitting here. Ladies and gentlemen, Musuka Fuke Mbembe. It's not easy. Manso na ya to sit here. Kasi jinsi rangka. But it's also very appreciative. But hani kabi fana Musa atadro. That one is part of this process. Musa fuko rong if fana mbari being ku konole. Because sincerely speaking, tonya tonya kadiam. What this country have gone through? Nimbango, I meant to take command. And the 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 retardedness it has taken this country. And we come out, we come out, Tanya Rosa in common with Francis Bangola. It will take a long time to recover. Abe Bangola, la wadi jana purunga muru menunda mendo. And I only hope all of us as Gambians. Njiki tani nambe purunbe mu Gambia no tinyame. Rally behind the slogan. Never again. And but it, let it just not be a slogan. But I cannot stand the But we have to leave it. But if once I know my wrong, I encourage every Gambian. be hamendi for this slogan. To be our food. I cannot do more. To be our water. I cannot give it. Because uh, we we thank God, some of us are so are alive. Allah tend to untold do kotengo do lebeje ano ko hanika bimbe balurine. And thank God, many people are alive. Allah tend to moja mabe wa balurine. To demonstrate the seriousness of what has happened, nobody should under underestimate under understate. Kaya tendi roke kula miyalo ko eketa la mumanya na ko kulta ka jutala. And so uh, to be the part of this, uh, op to be given this opportunity. Puru kaya ni harjo is dinna. I cannot say thank you enough. So that um, we, we help clarify, clarify issues that are not clear. And in our small way, help. But Mr. Chairman, um, a lot of things has been said here. Uh, particularly regarding uh, NIA following politicians. Surtu abeo kono wole NIA kabula politician ol noma. I am telling you. Beni mvole yako. Amanda Oud. Be kalole koto de. I've not followed one politician. Nte kundi ngo na mambula hani politician kili noma. And I know generally. And ngani lona jamaa jamaa. This is the case. Nina mkuola nyati. If it has to happen. Ninga atra abekela. It will be informed by a need. Abekela. 
kulet mi alango ki baro diri ngolam bo it also shows the deficiencies or the or the gaps but hani ka bi aw ki o fanan akana fatam fanso nyim fanan ye tandile and and every nia officer and nia do kula o do kula and this is international best practice nyim mu kulet mi alango ko duniya be ya landi wala nyam your work ila do kuo is evolving around espionage abe sujirinin espionage wala taji e men lafta tilimbalia waranto national security issues that borders on documentary stealing and and related issues wo kono bina ki baro sunyala ka wala banku kaytul ke sunya ku lo kono o sabotage waranto jutu neya you have a responsibility you don't want to carry it out you want to bring the whole gam system down eh ite banku de wala muy dite du no soro la long kunto du no soro pour que ka funna banku la fa banko kan bari ite ko hani ibi sida ko ma e murta ko ma bridges cannot be built school cannot be built eh salol te lono la kara mol te lono la o terrorism or insurgency eh bo en kan nalu aren eh kon nan teyalu this is what i have lived nte be nyine kono this is the training and doctrine i inculcate into every man and eh, woman that i have served uh, that have served under me nde kanyine karandi andun ka mobe hamende nyinala meume la ran ko e do ko and generally this is what is supposed to be obtained andun jama jama nyinam kuure me alan ko mo nyane nyinam mutala bo previous day i said there were ups and down there were gaps eh wato commando non ka fo non ko e wol dol ka sotole nyaaro ko ta nyaaro sen ko mo fanan ka soto and those are one of the gaps or some of the gaps and wala mo ko wol dol di me alan ko me be wol lelama so generally i don't want any, i will, i don't want any politician to hold that this is this so and mala fi hani politi jama jama mala fi politi ci sanu politi ci yaadi ko nyinam ko nyin la nyaati warando nyinam ko i wish i wish there was time we will have i will have demonstrated how much we we protected politicians and nun jigita no ninga dara wato be jonum be nun tandiro kele nun jande ngi tinga politi ci sanu tanga sometime even if they so no hani wato do hani wato ni ko hanifa because we feel as as, as an obligation ju ka to njikira nyinela ko ko men amun kan don kunto dunolti there is security from part of the national security agenda le tanko fananda be banko be le tanko ko nole and so um, i just I, i just want to thank you very much ay hani ka bi mbal be tentu la fanan and uh, appreciate um, uh, this interaction e ni ñom ñim be ngi men keta jang da mal tema jang e be ngisu ko ngol do ngataale mr chairman thank you very much e kiaman ila du ñokan inu mbarabaake uh thank you again very much uh, mr jalo for your testimony e kiaman ko inu mbarabaake mr jalo ila seedandi roodo we will resume our proceedings um, tomorrow morning 10 o'clock mina murna na be ngoto jang samo so monda talantang ning adiyata alaye thank you again mr mr jalo meetings adjourned